you know, around, I'm going to say, early 2000s, I, I, I believe, uh, Toonami on Cartoon Network had premiered Naruto, I think it was 2003. Uh, November or December of that year, Christmas time of that year, and I was immediately hooked right from the get go. It had a really appealing uh, story, protagonist, all that stuff that I gravitated towards. And I think a few months later, we had a promo announcing a brand new series about uh, pirates. And in that series, we saw our uh, main crew, our protagonists, and all that stuff. And right from the beginning, and right from the beginning, I could tell I was not going to be a fan of it. Uh, the art style, voice direction, and that oh so special uh, for kids dub basically ruined the chances of One Piece ever becoming a successful property in the United States and in America overall until much, much later. But still, I would uh, like to argue or make the case that One Piece never really got to where it needed to be and the effects are still there because on the public conscience, if you're not a fan of the medium, of uh, knowing about uh, Japanese animation and manga and all that stuff. Yeah, you, you're probably going to know about things like Dragon Ball, Sailor Moon, Pokemon. And if you want to go a couple years back, you're gonna, probably going to mention uh, Naruto, Death Note, Attack on Titan. But nowhere in this list, or at least, you know, calm down before you start hating on me. At least for the mainstream conscious, if you will, you won't find one piece on that list and it was just a series a successive series of events that really did more harm than good for this title and i'm using myself as an example because it, the show and the manga and all and everything began so long ago in the late 90s i do believe it was 1998 or 1999 something like that please do correct me i'm not an expert in this uh topic but uh, my journey with it was strange. My journey with One Piece began with that horrendous dub. And you know what? Uh, because I am such a nice guy here at A Week in Geek Thump, I'm going to uh, show you guys something very special, something near and dear to my heart. Uh, this is sarcasm speaking, by the way. Yo! Story goes, we find out by the treasure in the grand line. There's no doubt. The pirate whose eye is on it, he'll sing. I'll be king of the pirates. I'm gonna be king. His name is Luffy. That's Monkey D. Luffy. Gonna be king of the pirates. He's made a rubber. How did that happen? Yo ho ho, he took a bite of gum gum. His name's Zolo, he's just like a samurai and a L-A-D-Y, Nami's not shy. Usopp's doing that marksman thing. Sanji's cooking, Chopper's doctoring. Dino, 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 I think that encapsulates the essence of what for kids, you know, and, and, and I'm, I don't want to be a hater because at the end of the day, this company set out to take one of the biggest properties in Japan and turn it over to Western audiences. And of course, they wanted to make some, uh, they wanted to make tons of money, I should say, but they also wanted to spread this series around. However, you know, just the uh, cringy uh, sensors with the lollipops and weird shoe guns and all that stuff. It was rough, man. And I and I gave it a shot. I wanted to see what the fun was because I had heard for the longest of time how great the manga was and how great the anime adaptation is and, and this epic, huge fandom that... Uh, you know, part of me, like, I never buy into fandoms. I, I, I really don't care about the word that much, but I kind of 
wanted to see what all the fuss was about and maybe join in on the fandom of uh, anime pirates, if you will, or manga pirates in my case. So uh, yeah, my, my journey of course started with the four kids anime and then it proceeded to, I think, I watched a good portion of it, or at least until Arlong appeared. And by the way, if I butcher any names, I'm sorry. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm not an expert on One Piece. I think I stopped watching. I don't know if... Uh, no, actually, yeah, they did, a, they did more. I don't know how many episodes they did, but they did a good chunk of them. I'm going to say more than 50 episodes. Uh, eventually, they uh, dropped the license, or they lost it, or, or whatever happened, and thank God for them. And and just uh, the property just sank to the bottom of the ocean, if you will, of the metaphorical ocean. Thanks to you, I'm still alive and kicking. I'll never ever forget you, not ever. And I won't forget you. And we never heard of One Piece until many years later when Funimation rescued the license and uh, redubbed everything and gave us an excellent cast and all that fun stuff and released the series properly on DVD and then now with the movies on Blu-ray and all that stuff. But the damage I fear was already done simply because we never saw uh, the, the title received the love, care, and attention that a uh, property like Dragon Ball or a Naruto or something like that uh, received where everybody knew what One Piece was. And it's a shame because it is a worldwide phenomenon and, and a lot of people enjoy this. A lot of people read the manga, a lot of people watch the anime, and they are huge, huge fans of One Piece. So. Uh, I watched the uh, One Piece anime done by Funimation and I loved it. I thought it was awesome. However, the one thing persisted. I could not get into the series with the wacky drawings. That's how I uh, first uh, talked about it with my friends. And I don't know what it was, but at the time, everything else just seems uh, seemed a little bit cooler to me. Whereas... I was a fan of pirates, but then you watch the animation and the character designs in the show and they are trippy and wacky as hell with talking animals and giant monsters and all that stuff. And at the time, it, it, it was just a product of its time. At, at that specific age, I didn't find it appealing enough where uh, you had something like Naruto with, you know, it had animals and, and then crazy jutsus and all that stuff, but it seemed a little bit more refined in the way it presented its characters and the world around it and all that stuff. Uh, I don't know. It took me many, many, many years. We're just going to skip, we're just going to skip, uh, wow, uh, uh, a decade until 2017 where, uh, or, or, or sorry, 2015 where I stopped watching. I think I saw maybe 200 some episodes of uh, Funimation or something like that or, or what Funimation released on TV because they did do um, they did show stuff on Toonami and Old Swim and then Toonami again or something like that it, it was weird so I sort of left the series there and it wasn't until this year when all this um, you know, and the uh, omnibus groups and all that stuff, all this manga talk started happening and everybody kept mentioning uh, One Piece and I knew that the manga, typically, you know, almost always, the manga is the superior of the two. And I saw the manga and I don't know, I was intrigued to check it out. I got into the, and I have it here with me, uh, this is the first of the I know uh, you guys know that uh, those are omnibus if you're into the Western comic book scene. Uh, this, I don't know why they call this an omnibus, but I guess it is an omnibus, but more in manga form because it, it collects three volumes and it's pretty thick. Uh, but man, uh, I, was, I was in it. Like the effects, the art style, everything about it, uh, I really enjoyed, man. Like, there is this sense of 
motion and fluidity that just looks amazing for some reason. Like take that panel for example. There is, uh, you know, the way Oda, the way Oda puts out or frames each scene and stuff, followed by a huge splash page, if you will, of action. It's just uh, really fun. I, uh, I gotta say, I. Uh, I'm loving it. I am. I'm, I'm a big. I'm, I'm really into One Piece at the moment, and I am tracking down different volumes and stuff. And I'm currently reading uh, One Piece material, uh, whether it be uh, the introduction with Luffy or we see uh, Buggy the Clown. By the way, I hated that clown in animation form, but here he actually seemed menacing badass and actually a formidable threat you know formidable quote-unquote because this is the starting point in the series i know it gets a lot crazier and this is just entry level compared to the thousand chapter journey that awaits me but one piece is one of those titles where it just sneaks up on you when you least expect it and it may take a few tries if you're like me and you wanted to experience the title more than once as to fully grasp it go for it like give it another read or watch more of it uh, because or, or if you don't like it drop it and then come back to it later because eventually it has this weird awesome uh, way of hooking you up and not letting you go whether it be with the character designs with the amazing uh, creature designs and just this fantastical world of uh, mischief, uh, piratey, superhero, uh, kaiju, uh, awesome world. I don't know how to really describe it. It's gonna take a while to do like a proper video on the uh, different arcs and stuff uh, on uh, One Piece that I actually, I, I actually really do, I actually would like to do, sorry, uh, uh, videos on each arc and talk about it, but that's gonna be in the future. Uh, not not right now because I want to like gather some thoughts and do like a, a, a proper uh, discussion on all things One Piece. Uh, I think that's going to be fun to do. So I'm currently reading these uh, thick uh, omnibus editions if you will. So I'm very much looking forward to continuing that journey. Uh, like I mentioned, I do not like the anime compared to the manga. I don't know what it is but and before recording this video, I was actually looking at some uh, footage from the anime, and it looks fine, I guess, but I don't know. The manga, uh, in most scenes, just has more depth. It just looks a lot better, in my honest opinion. I don't know. Plus, the whole deal with the 4 kid stuff just flat out ruining uh, some characters for me that just made it... A little bit weird and not as likable and it's and it's a shame because it is an excellent world with amazing amazing world building great characters hundreds of characters that you don't think are going to impact you but they do several chapters on and Oda has this way of just weaving all these interconnecting stories to form this grand narrative that I think um, you know, I know a lot of people know this already, but in the large context of geekdom, is heavily underrated. A lot of people will just focus on, oh yeah, Luffy and his crew and all that stuff, but the stuff that Oda does to fill out this world is a thing of beauty and absolutely should not be missed. If you are someone that is looking at this video and you're a noob One Piece fan like myself, or you tried it and, and didn't like it, Give it another shot, and if you do like it, um, then yeah, that's that's awesome. It's quite an adventure that I've uh, set sail to. I don't know. Guys, what do you think about One Piece in its infancy? When you first read it, how did you come across the title, and what were your impressions on the very first volumes that you read? I'm very interested in finding out. And if you want me to continue talking about One Piece, let me know down below. I will eventually uh, do uh, proper reviews, or my thoughts, I guess, on the different arcs that One Piece has, because if I were to do uh, a review for each volume, I'd, I I don't think I'd ever finish. So I, I would probably just review uh, the whole story itself. I don't know. 
Uh, that is to be determined. So yeah, uh, this was sort of impromptu. Uh, I didn't really uh, put that much uh, thought into what I was going to say. Just uh, just share with you guys some uh, interesting uh, ideas and ramblings in my head about my initial thoughts starting my uh, adventure with uh, One Piece. Hopefully you guys dug it. Thank you uh, for uh, liking subscribing and commenting on a Weekend Geek them. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And you know what's even more? Uh, you know what's even better? If you would follow me on your favorite social media platform, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. Uh, thank you so much. God bless. I hope you have a great day, night, morning, wherever or whatever you're doing. Uh, be safe. And I love every one of you guys. I have got to go. I will catch all of you at a later time. It's time. Ready for duty? Yes, I am.